In the spring of 2017, we wanted to create a group that really represented what we felt was important within karate. So we wanted to be part of a worldwide community that had inclusion and tradition and respect within the vision of the group. So we formed the HTKI. I think people value and, and understand their training far better if it's in the context of being within a community. And people want to kind of talk and communicate and develop with other people, whether that be the people in the dojo or the people in the same country or people from halfway across the world. And so community is at the bedrock of, of what we try to do within the HDKI. We have four core values, so the first is tradition of course. We, we find that it's important of course to keep track of our roots and, and where karate came from. The second is innovation and although that might seem kind of uh, oxymoronic, we, we want to make sure that as much as we're looking back and, and keeping hold of what we've learned from our, our previous generations, we also want to move forward and, and take karate in a new direction. Uh, we also have uh, collaboration, so we make sure that we, we value people from different parts of the karate world, regardless of their affiliation, because good karate is good karate. And fourthly, we want to be respectful, so whether you're good at karate or not good at karate, if you're dedicated to it and you have something of value to bring, then we want to respect that and make sure that we value everyone that is part of the group. I moved over here four years ago, uh, seen an advertisement on Facebook actually for the job of full-time instructor. So I emailed Scott Sensei and he said, come over, we'll have a chat, you can teach a few classes. And came over, talked about it, he asked me what my ambitions were, what I wanted to do with karate. Um, I taught a few classes um, with Pama Sensei, she was really enthusiastic about what I was doing. By the time I flew back home that weekend, Scott had emailed me saying, you've got the job if you want it. So that was when I moved over and started working full-time here and training full-time here. Sir, once you can, avoid leaning over this side, okay? Let's just squeeze up there, chi. Feel that pinch, go. Look. Certainly what I was doing in Scotland, it was my own thing. It was less pressure to be as professional as I am now, you know. Scott Sense is always very good at keeping you on track. There's a nice structure here. When you come over, there's a, there's a, there's a set way of teaching a formula that we have that really works and you have the freedom to improvise and add in your own sort of ideas and stuff, but that general formula really makes it easy. I've done a few different martial arts, so sometimes I'll take drills and stuff from other experiences that I've had that just add something a little bit different. Karate is a way of going from a very controlled, disciplined approach to movement to finding freedom in how to use your own body. So part of what we try to bring to the HDKI is the sense of shuhari, which is a, a Japanese way of systematic learning. So shu is learning the system, ha is internalizing the system, and ri is going beyond the system. So someone who starts karate, they're learning the basic nuts and bolts of the, of the movement. And this is shu, so this is from beginner to maybe first black belt. Then ha is like internalizing it, so you're no longer kind of having to think about what limb you're moving, how you're moving, it just kind of happens as second thought. Uh, and then re is kind of allowing that to transcend into your own form, so everybody is uniquely different, so therefore the karate should be uniquely different. With the basics and stuff, there's always improvements to be made, but you get to that point where you start thinking, oh, I prefer to do things this way, I prefer to do things that way. And that's always a little bit different from other people and it's finding that balance of not going against the grain too early and sort of staying within that sort of basic form, but also having the confidence to when you're teaching or something saying, this is the way I like to do it, this is what I'm going to offer you and hopefully it's something a bit unique from my perspective. Hello, HDKI. I'm sorry, Scott's actually in Denmark teaching until the... It's first. super important to realise that if you build a community worldwide, you then have to service the community. And so it's always a great pleasure that I travel probably 45 weekends a year to different countries teaching and trying to show the members of those countries what we're doing here. 
and just also trying to offer advice and if they have any questions, just allowing them to be part of the community and always have access to the highest quality karate, whether it be me or any of our instructing team. For me, especially this year, I've had the chance to travel to other dojos around the world and I don't think any other organisation is willing to push a young instructor, 25 year old, out to teach internationally. I think this is, like, this is one of the only places that you'll do that. It's all about collaboration and I think that that's something that you don't get in a lot of other organisations. Sometimes that sort of top down where you'll have the same people teaching constantly and there's no opportunity for young Karateka to sort of branch out and experience that until they're much older or much senior. I never believed I will be black belt. I never believed I will be instructor. Um, after years of training, I started to um, see and absorb and um, I started to have little idea in the back of my mind that that would be good, that would be something maybe I would like today one day. Now hand which is up, blocks around, well this hand goes to the side. I asked uh, Sensei, maybe I could do that one day. And uh, Scott said, yeah, if you're think, thinking seriously uh, that. And um, that's when I decided and, and I get, uh, got opportunity uh, to teach. If you watch someone teaching, sometimes you think, I would say it this way, I would teach it maybe that way. Once in front of everybody, you have to be in control. But there is methods and ways of um, leading the class of six-year-olds or 12-year-olds. I like it when, when I learned how to do that. I love it actually. It's, it's very nice. I moved to Dublin and I wanted to find a dojo and when I came here I just knew this was the right place. The reason I started the intern program was because I was living in Cork at the time and I wanted to make karate a more important part of my life, I decided I'd start teaching. So before I started, I reckoned I needed to get, um, get something to give me a bit of an advantage, a bit of an edge. I thought the internship here would be perfect. And before you drive, yeah, don't, don't, don't release that arm too early. Go! Look! The intent programme is open to all HDKI members worldwide, and they come for a month, and they have to be uh, short and, and above. And the idea is that they come they learn our training methods, which is really important, our teaching methods, which is really important, and also just the structure of a professional organisation, how we run a successful dojo. And then they can take those ideas and take them on board and go back home and see how they, they fit those ideas into their own community, their own dojo. Don't be stiff here. Yeah. Make, make sure... Come release them! I spent a minimum of about six hours a day on the dojo floor. The training was intensive, but you know the crew here was so supportive. I was able to assist all the kids' classes, which meant I learned the formula. I learned how to teach kids. I got to sit in on all the meetings. I got to see just how a professional dojo was run. The way I'm learning to teach here, I, I learned from, I believe, the best karate instructors in Ireland, definitely. I think one of the biggest opportunities that I've gotten from here is that you get to train with a variety of instructors. I mean, we have a guest instructor every three months here um, and they always offer something different. So you're constantly getting either like a refresher course in different aspects of technique, whilst in the dojo working on the principles that Scott says he's teaching day in, day out, and then also completely new perspectives from brand new instructors all the time. Obviously part of our, our ethos is that we have collaboration and respect, so anybody that comes to our group, to our dojo, is given the respect that they deserve and actually we, we, we want to champion that, we want to learn from other people and only through kind of looking at what other people do and trying to understand how they approach karate can we evolve and, and develop. I invited Scott Langley over to my dojo when we first decided to join the HGKI and everybody was impressed with his standard of karate and the dynamics of karate that he has is really benefiting myself and our club. Oh! We're led to train who, who we want, when we want and we're getting some good instructors in from all over the world. Where I feel with other organisations it was like a fishbowl, you were kept, you were told who to train with, when to train, there's none of that here.
I definitely feel my students are benefiting a lot now since you've joined. One of the other organisations I used to be with was more faster, stronger, harder, which I still, to a certain extent, do some of that training and still teach some of that in my club, but I'm just more aware of the dynamics and certain movements in Craddy now, more so, so I can understand the structure, which why we move certain ways and why we do certain things. There's more knowledge I have now than I had five, ten years ago. Part of our, our vision is to have karate adventures, simply to allow people to have fun doing their karate. Most people do karate as a hobby, so we want to make sure that, that they have the opportunity to travel, to meet interesting people within the community, to train with lots of different instructors and train in lots of different locations. So we go to Japan every year, we have uh, camps uh, throughout Europe, in America, and we just want to make sure that people, if they want to, can visit and train with different people and enjoy themselves whilst they're doing karate. I had the chance of going to Japan with Scott Lang and the HGKI, which I didn't have before but now we're having the option to go on with someone who knows the area and different training with different senseis, so really looking forward to it. Within the HTKI, we want to simply teach good karate and be kind to people. We want to provide opportunity, we want to have karate adventures, and we, of course we also want to uh, have shuhari built into our system so that we help people fulfill their own unique individual potential rather than still having high grades being dictated to and not allowing to grow up within the karate community.